Hi, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I'm going to do a really quick meal. It's late, my husband's hungry, so I'm going to make a goulash, but it's like a cheap goulash because I'm going to use pasta sauce with some tomatoes. Well, let me bring you in closer and show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so I got two hamburger patties that I had frozen that I'm going to take out and put in a pan that I've got heating up. I'm going to just crumble those up in there. Over here I got about two and a half quarts to three quarts of water boiling at a rapid boil. I'm going to add some of my double macaroni, probably about two and a half cups. Give it a stir so they don't all stick together. Set my timer. I always let them go for 10 plus minutes. Okay, in here I'm going to put some black pepper, a little bit of the Italian spaghetti seasoning, seasoned salt, Lowry's, of course. All right, I heated the uh, garlic up in the microwave and cut the ends off for seven seconds because it's supposed to help it peel faster, which usually it does. While that's browning, I've got my uh, Power Chef, and now we've got a beautiful red color in these. Red is like the end color right now. It's a three blade, very sharp blade. It's got a little spot on the bottom that goes right, there's a little point inside there that you stick it to. Um, I had my fridge mark full of celery for, and I'm not exaggerating, over three and a half weeks. Celery looks good, hard, no. There was one that was kind of mushy, but the rest are nice and hard and solid. Not joking, I'll probably throw those in there too. But I do cut the ends off because they do start looking a little ragged, so you just cut them off. Because that's how I roll. And then I'll rinse it really good. I'll be back. Okay, giving you a better view. I squatted my uh, garlic with the knife, flattened it. So that I can throw that in there. Throw the peeling in there. I'm going to stick some celery in there. Now, I will tell you, the first pull on that, it's going to be not so easy, but then it gets easier after you get pulling on it. Got green pepper from my garden. I put the green pepper on the top. Right. You put your lid on. I got bad red. See how she looks. That, my dear, is a beautiful chop. All right, let's put that in the pan. Put you closer so we can show you how it's going. I'm gonna add all that in there. Let that cook down. Okay, I wanna show you something with the noodles. See how those look? There's no, they all look cooked all the way through. There's no um, dried spots on the ends. I'm gonna let mine cook just a little bit longer, but that's how you know your noodles are done. Like right there, I got a little bit right there. So I'm gonna let them cook about two or three more but minutes on the high boil. Now they're all nice and cooked, clear through. So I'm gonna drain that. Okay, so while you watch that for a minute, I'm gonna pull this off and let it drain. Ow. Put it in the sink for a minute. I don't want those noodles to sit in that water because they'll overcook and get mushy on you. You don't want that. I have Gordon Foods roasted beef base. I'm gonna add a little bit in at a time. 
probably about, what would you say, a tablespoon? And that just gives it a little bit more beefier of a flavor. A little bit more and call her good. Too much will make it too salty. You don't want that. Okay, I have one uh, 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I have a 24 ounce jar of roasted garlic and herb prego. Put in there. Now I'm you're gonna clean that jar out. I'm gonna use a little bit of that pasta water. Ouch. Shake it up. Don't bury it. And I'm gonna let this cook through for about five minutes on a medium high heat. I'm let it get good and bubbly. And then I will be back. Show you what we do next. So let me show you, I did not rinse the noodles. I'm gonna drop you down. How starchy they are, stuck together. That's okay, that's what we want. Because we're now going to put the noodles in with this sauce. I'm gonna bring it closer. I'm just gonna add some noodles in there. You want it soupy at first because the noodles will absorb the sauce. Okay? So we're gonna, after we think we're all done, we're not gonna eat it right away. You're gonna shut it down and let it sit for about 25 minutes to a half hour if you've got time. If not, it's okay to eat it right away. But it gives you more flavor when you don't. The noodles will be able to absorb the sauce. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. See how that is? Well, you could still grab some sauce. So we're going to let that sit. Just, you know, we're going to stir it up. Yep, there's noodles left over. That's all right. We'll make a macaroni salad. Bring it closer. All right. So I'm going to give it one more good stir. Beautiful that looks. I'm going to shut it off. Put its lid on it. Push it off the heat. And it's gonna sit there for about 30 minutes. And then we'll be back to see how it is done. Before we're so much. Now look at it. See how that pasta absorbs just by letting it sit for a half hour? And it makes it taste so much better. Alright. I did heat up a couple garlic knots. So yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, I'll get this dished up. Pretty picture. It's gonna be amazing. Mmm. A little bit of parm on there. Look at that. All right, let's do a taste test. It's I've tried a couple taste tests. It's really good. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's really good. It's quick, easy, throw together. Using the spaghetti sauce in with your uh, diced tomatoes just cuts your job down like bam. I'm used to making where, you know, you throw in your stewed tomatoes, your tomato sauce and all that, cooking it down and all that, eh, throw in a jar of tomato or prego or your favorite kind of spaghetti sauce in with a can of diced tomatoes, that easy. All right, everyone, thank you for stopping by and as always, big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.